So we are hours away from the release of a crucial economic report, one that experts say is a key indicator of whether or not we're in a recession. Okay, so that's what we're asking you this morning. What is your stance? Do you think we are in a recession or headed that way? 61% of you say yes. We're going to keep it open right now and get over to Suzanne Bruner, who is breaking down what's in the report. Yeah, so guys, the report could show the nation's gross domestic product in the negative for the second consecutive quarter. Now, some economists say that's technically a recession, but the White House doesn't see it that way. Instead, focusing on job growth as an area of strength. Now, this report comes a day after the Federal Reserve raised interest rates by three quarters of a percentage point, its fourth rate hike this year. Now, you might not feel it immediately, but here's what this means for your wallet. It's going to be more expensive to borrow for homes, cars, even credit cards. Now, there have been some indications that raising rates have helped slow down consumer spending to battle the, the record high inflation. In fact, uh, Fed Chair Jerome Powell thinks the rate hike will help the Fed succeed in slowing demand for homes, cars, and other goods and services. We're not trying to have a recession, and we don't think we have to. We think that there's a path for us to be able to bring inflation down while sustaining a strong labor market. Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill, a huge win for the Biden administration's economic agenda. So Senator Joe Manchin says he will back an energy and health care bill. That plan would entitle, um, actually spend $369 billion on energy and climate initiatives, as well as raising taxes on big corporations and the wealthy. Also, President Biden says the spending package would lower the cost of prescription drugs and health care for 13 million Americans. Guys. Okay, thanks for the update, Suzanne. As we